Are you shocked to see these people walking on knees? Do you want to know why they are walking on knees? And where exactly they are walking on knees? Then watch this video till the end so that you can understand why these people are walking on knees. Velankani is a special grade panchayat town in Nagapattinam district in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It lies on the Coromandel coast of the Bay of Bengal, 350 km south of Chennai and 12 km south of Nagapattinam. Once a port that traded with Rome and Greece, the tiny commercial centre gradually lost its importance to the larger city of Nagapattinam. The town is home to one of the most visited Roman Catholic Latin Rite shrines called the Basilica of Our Lady of Good Health. From Bangalore, there is a direct train to reach Velankini, Velankini Express. It starts from Vasco and ends journey at Velankini. It is a weekly train which runs on Monday. It has three stops in Bangalore, Chikkabanuvara, Banaswadi and Krishnarajapuram or Kyarpuram. It is very convenient to travel from Bangalore to Velankini by this train. But there is a twist. If you want to catch this train from Chikkabanuvara or Banaswadi, then you have to book for Monday. If you want to catch this train from Kyarpuram, then it is available only on Tuesday for booking. Little difficult to understand? Are you confused? For more information, check this very carefully. Just it is the difference in a few minutes of arrival to the Kyarpuram railway station. But whoever wants to reserve tickets from Chikkabanuvara or Banaswadi, they can book one day early to those who reserve tickets from Kyarpuram. So that is a twist. So whenever you want to travel to Velankini by this express, always reserve tickets from Chikkabanuvara or Banaswadi. But of course it depends upon the place where you live in Bangalore. If it is far away from Chikkabanuvara or Banaswadi, then you can travel from Kyarpuram railway station as per your convenience. Velankani Express 17315 departures from Krishnarajapuram at 0003 that means Monday midnight 12 o'clock and it arrives in Velankani the next day at 12.25 pm. So the total duration of travelling time is 12 hours 22 minutes. But we started our journey to Velankini after visiting Chidambaram Nataraja Swami temple. So it was late afternoon, around 3 o'clock we started from Chidambaram. We travelled by car. The roads towards Nagapattinam were okay. From Nagapattinam to Velankini, the roads were very very narrow. It was very difficult to drive the vehicle when we are very much tired and when it was the end of the day. So we reached Velankini around 7.30 pm in the evening. Next day morning, we started exploring the beautiful churches in the Velangani. It is built in the Gothic style, was modified with the Portuguese and then further expanded later on due to the influx of pilgrims. Annually, 20 million pilgrims flock to the shrine from all over India and abroad, out of which an estimated 3 million people visit the shrine during its annual festival from August 29 to September 8th. 
The 11 day annual festival concludes with celebration of the feast of the nativity of Mary on 8th September. The Basilica of Our Lady of Good Health, also known as Sanctuary of Our Lady of Vailankani. The Roman Catholic Latin Rite Basilica is dedicated to Our Lady of Good Health. Devotion to Our Lady of Good Health of Vailankani can be traced back to the mid 16th century and is attributed to three separate miracles at the sites surrounding the basilica. The apparition of Blessed Mary and the child Christ to a slumbering shepherd boy, the healing of a handicapped buttermilk vendor and the rescue of Portuguese sailors from a deadly sea storm. These accounts are more oral lore with no written record or attested sources to support them. Eventually, only a simple and modest chapel was built by the Portuguese sailors who washed ashore safely. More than 500 years later, the nine-day festival and celebration is still observed and the first Mary apparition is said to have occurred in May 1570 when a local shepherd boy was delivering milk to a nearby house. Along the way, he met a beautiful woman holding a child who asked for some milk for the little one. After giving her the milk, he continued on his way and upon making the delivery discovered that the jug was now completely full of fresh cool milk. A small shrine was built near the site where the boy encountered the woman, a location that came to be called Mata Kullam, which means Our Lady's Pool. The second Marian apparition, a beautiful woman with a young boy in her arms appeared to a young crippled boy selling buttermilk. The little boy asked for some buttermilk and after he drank it, the woman asked the boy selling buttermilk to visit a gentleman in the next town and ask him to build a chapel in her honor at that location. The boy set out quickly and realized that he was no longer lame. A small thatched chapel was quickly built in honor of our Lady of Health called in Tamil Arokya Mata. Some pilgrims, instead of using a mode of transport, prefer walking pilgrimages to it. Now let us come to the most important point with which we have started this video. You have seen the people walking on their knees, haven't you? Have you seen the manner in which several devotees walk on their knees on a hard, hot sand path for almost 1500 meters, roughly one and a half kilometers in Penis? But why do these people walk on their knees on the hot sand? Knees as an act of devotion, petition or thanks. Many pilgrims crawl or walk barefoot as a sign of devotion to Velankini.
inside the tiny basilica church devotees crowd forward to make offerings and to be blessed by holy water this chapel near the enclosed water tank is a place where around the 16th century the mother of jesus our lady of health appeared to a shepherd boy The Velankini beach is a place where you must not visit at any time. This beach is filled with lot of foul smell, with lot of debris and lot of garbage and the water is very very dirty. The church accommodation is very cheap but it may not be suitable for all kinds of people. So if you are not a budget traveler, you can book room in private accommodation also. That would be much better than church accommodation. If you really like this video please subscribe to this channel and press the bell notification so that you can receive latest updates of my videos thanks for watching this video bye bye take care